put it in traders it's 8 p.m. on Wednesday this video is for Tuesday's watch list real quick I'm just gonna focus on the stocks right now but I wanted to show you the ES real quick S1 1325 S2 1320 S3 1312 as for resistance S1 over today's high at 1335.75 S2 1340.75 and then S3 of course would be the 1343.79 which was the previous high and it's crazy but we're really that close to it and we never thought that would happen this market really surprises us in every way alright looking at American Express right here it's had a nice move over the past few weeks all the credit agencies have and we're watching this 4670 level we've tested it three separate times in the past and this might be the one time that allows us to break out so our major support area is going to be this 4568 and then we have S1 at 4670 and S2 at 4918 eventually if this thing continues up and holds the 4670 you might be able to see 54 so if you're bullish on the credit agencies keep watching American Express I truly believe fifty dollars is in the cards for this stock next one's Thor it doesn't have heavy option activity at all so I wouldn't look trading it like that but as for a potential day trade or a possible swing trade it trades about 800,000 shares a day this formation looks nice and this truck this stock trades pretty nicely look at this range and it's just smooth sailing here you can't find many stocks like this if it gets over the 100 moving average you can probably see a break out of 28 and they continue up to the 200 look over here on the right you have the monthly 50 month moving average at 25 76 so we're over that now that's a bullish indicator we'll keep watching this thing I have an alert for uh, 2743 as a day trade tomorrow if uh, it hits me on that I'll look to potentially take along Avon products symbol AVP trades about 3 million shares a day it's gone from 36 all the way to 26 they bought it right at that round number there all right now we're coming up to the 50 day moving average then we have the 100 and then the 200 if the momentum gets carried on you'll see us just blast through these averages something like this so keep watching this 6,000 calls 3,000 puts today next is Best Buy symbol BBY this is a bearish gap you see us pull down here we retested it and then ever since then this was your shorting opportunity we've gone down broke below the prior low that's usually always a level as well and you see it continue down to 28 overall I think this thing's going lower over time but for now as we speak had some nice buying come through today have a buy on a proprietary indicator put in the low of 2809 44,000 calls versus 11,000 puts this is definitely on my radar tomorrow keep an eye on Best Buy now a couple bearish names for potential shorts for tomorrow I want to supply you guys with both just in case the market decides to go down MCP 6278 is going to be your level from the prior high back in January and our target would be the 10 day moving average at 59.75 now we're looking at CNX now it could have a little more downside tomorrow but overall look over here on the right chart it's a monthly we're still above the 50 month moving average uh, eventually what could happen is you see this trend line that's still intact and then you see the 50 day moving average which is still ascending that's both bullish on the near term so if we bounce off of this maybe look for a greater move back up to 58 and then it could potentially get going remember this stock was once a hundred nineteen dollar stock 
So I think that 70 to 75 is not out of the question over the next year. Looking at BTU Peabody Energy, remember Goldman Sachs downgraded it right here. And then you saw put buying not only by the retail investors, but I'm sure Goldman had a short position going into here. They rallied it back up a little bit. And now there's some nice coin to be made today. Met up support at the 20 day moving average. We have a sell signal on our proprietary indicator. Next move could be down to the 50, then the 100. And the last one we're going to look at is AKS. Now, this I'm neutral on, but I wanted to point something out. The chart looks pretty bullish here above all the moving averages. The five days ascending. We got over the 16. And after we got over that hurdle, I began showing more interest in the stock. Today, I got a call from Investor Relations because uh, I had some questions for the company. Like, who do they supply some of their uh, steel to? What auto companies? Well, they supply to GM, Ford, Toyota, Honda, and Nissan, all the big ones. So when we have numbers in the auto industry, from now on, this is a go-to stock fundamentally that we can look at to maybe get involved with it. And that's just one decision. That combined with a little bit of technical analysis and balance sheet reading, you'll be good. And that's how you create a winning strategy. You have to know the insights of the company and what's going to cause the stock to go up, not just a confirmed higher low or higher high, even though that's essential. You have to complete every aspect of this business and know it in depth. So that's it. Good luck trading tomorrow, guys, and I'll update you with another video tomorrow.